As you've heard, my name is Hanatu Samuel Kadala. I was born some 57 years ago to an evangelist father, let Yakubu Aku, in what is called Mubi in Adamawa State. I grew up under the tutelage of my father and my mother, and the only child of the family. I was, you know, tutored in the things of God, brought up in the Christian way, because my father was an evangelist. He would go plant church here and move forward. That's how I grew up. And we were very close with my father because I was his sister. He was the only child of his parents too. So I was in the choir and everything, and I assumed that was what it means to be a Christian. I was a very good girl, well-behaved, an example in the village. Went to secondary school, continued in the choir and all this. Graduated from secondary school and later went to university. But before I went to my degree, I went to Zaria for an NCE, which I left along the way when I got admission to university of my degree. But I think God took me to Zaria so that I will know him better. In Zaria in 1980, the North School at Usasa organized a crusade they termed Mission 80. That was in October of 1980, and I attended. And there I met the Lord, or the Lord caught me. And there I gave my life to Christ. That's how I knew that being born into a Christian family does not qualify one to be a Christian. And the fact that your father is a Christian does not qualify you to be a Christian. That Christianity is about you as an individual having a personal contact with the Lord Jesus Christ. On coming home in December 1980, I was sick. My father was the one standing by me, praying for me all the time. My father was a man of prayer. He can pray for three days. You don't see him continuously. Now, I found my admission to the University of Maiduguri, and I switched over because Zaria was just too far for me. From Mubi to Zaria, you take a whole day. I said, let me just go back to my normal place because I did post-primary at WTC Meduguri. So I went back to Meduguri. Now, went on, continued in the faith. But then something happened. In 1982, I lost my father. And the whole world just crumbled. And I got annoyed with God and turned my back against him. And, you know, as you are growing, once you are taught and you grow up, you know, that moral upbringing, in spite of the fact that I turned my, my back against God after knowing him in 1980, I didn't venture into all those things that the girls on campus do. But I just became a nominal Christian and I was annoyed with God. You know, and in trying to find soccer somehow, and being the only child, the family was pressing me, get married now so that you can have children, they will be your sisters, they will be your brothers, and the rest of it. And that is how, in 1984, I got married to another sinner. And two sinners in the family, the family became trouble. That very good girl that I was growing, I started fighting my husband. He is here. He can testify to that. I could fight for three days. Non-stop. Oh. Fighting morning, evening, night, and day. And he had to leave the house for me at a point. And, uh, you know, I did not contemplate divorce anyway. Because when I was getting into marriage, I said, I will not be uh, having children here, going there, having other children. So I said, I will not divorce, but we must continue like this. But somehow, God was after me. And I think it was the prayer of my father. Because my father really invested a lot in me in terms of prayers. Now, in 1989, the full gospel had a convention in Yola at Lamido Cinema. And Bile Akani was the preacher. That day, I was... I did not plan to go to that convention that day. I said it was the next day I will go. I didn't go the first day, it was the second day. 
I came back from work. I was a bit feverish. I said, and it rained. I said, I will not go. But somehow something just grabbed me and I left. My, from my house to the convention ground is not far. I trekked and I entered. Lo and behold, our brother Billy Akani preached about uh, Naaman, the leper, who was a general in the Syrian army, but he was a leper. And I looked at myself and said, eh, doesn't I look like one? And that is how I rededicated my life to the Lord. And since that day, God has been faithful. By 1994, I was just sitting down in my office. I worked with the House of Assembly then. And, uh, no, I had left House of Assembly and joined, and I was with the Boundary Commission. Then, my boss sent for me, and I walked to her office, and she said, Ah, Hanatu, Ambaiki Councillor Bazaki Gaya Miniba, they gave you, appointed you as councillor in your local government, and you didn't tell me. I said, I didn't know. Then somebody now called, came in and said he had my name on the radio. That's how I was appointed councillor. That is God for you. After serving, I went and served with my people diligently. I was able to attract some uh, clinics. In fact, I brought the first electricity to my village. So after I served and I went back to Yola, on arriving Yola, they said on zero party you can contest. My people came back and just took me from my husband. They didn't even ask him that I should go and contest for zero party. That I will not lose my job, but I can contest. And that is how I contested against five men. Five men. Two of them were Muslims, but I won to the glory of God. I became a counselor, the first female elected counselor in my local government. Ah, I said, so this is how this God is so sweet. I'll continue. And that's how we continued with God. Now in 2000 and, uh, 2003, I was in my office and my chairman of House Committee on Education, I was in the House of Assembly. He said, Madam, we are looking for you. I said, eh, our trip to South Africa is ready. He said, no, you are going to Gela. That's my local government headquarters. I said, to do what? He said, they appointed you secretary of the local government. I said, me again? That was not over. After serving one year, God again renewed that. And to cap it all, 2007, there was an election. And somebody's name was sent from my local government to, to be a commissioner. I processed that person's CV because I was the one in charge of that for screening at the House of Assembly. The House of Assembly rejected that one just for my name. I was having a meeting with my bishop in the church and my phone rang. Madam, where are you? We are looking for you. I went. One of the members of the House of Assembly, Honorable Jerry, said, the governor wanted a female from your local government for a commissioner and I gave your name. I said, what? I'm not ready to be a commissioner. What challenged me and I accepted it, that post was, when I visited Jerry, he now said, I said, I'm not ready. When you accept to commissioner, that's all about you. You'll be discarded. He now asked me and said, ah, ah, Hanatu, the uh, Christian chapel in the house of assembly, you are always there praying. I thought you know God, but you don't know God. Are you aware that it is God that brought you to this commissionership. Accept it because that is the will of God for your life. Tomorrow, leave it for God. And that is how I accepted. And to the glory of God, I served for four years under Nyako. And I know what God took me there to do. In my local government, not many of us went to school. And to get employment, you have to know somebody. And by the grace of God, through this my hand, by the grace of God, more than 100 of our boys and girls were given appointments with the state government because I was there. Every day I'll be in the civil service commission. And the chairman was saying, Madam, if people 
were like you, I think every village, every place will be developed. You are so concerned about your people. And God took me there so that I can give soko to these people. When I see them now and they greet me, I have joy in my heart. That is what my God can do. I invite you, if you don't know Jesus, if you are claiming that my father is a priest, uh, I was born and baptized, that is not it. You need a personal relationship with God. That is what God can do. He can change your life. I have a very beautiful marriage. I can attest to that. That fight for three days nonstop has stopped. Today, by the grace of God, I introduced my husband to the full gospel. And he rededicated his life also to God. And to believers, believers in a home, you will see that there is joy. Today, to the grace, to the glory of God, my husband is a field rep in the full gospel. I think the full gospel came to Yola because of us. I invite you to give your life to Jesus Christ. It makes a lot of difference. Even when you are facing challenges, the Lord will stand by you. Thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure you have been blessed today. If you just made a decision for Jesus Christ, why don't you write to us? And we shall send you a free copy of our booklet, Now That You Have Received Christ. And should you want to be a part of our worldwide fellowship of businessmen and women, contact us at the best hotel around you or Ibadan, full gospel area office, 